What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watches. So, as you guys can see, if you guys have not already been in Destiny 2 since uh, the last reset, Festival of Lost is now live, and I do want to apologize to everybody because I have not been able to post videos um, for Destiny 2 for a while due to having issues with my Elgato 4K 60 Pro. Um, so, unfortunately, I had to wait until it was actually fixed. It's fixed now, so I'm back. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to Zer. Zer is locating on Nessus, and he's in the Watcher's Grave on the ship. So let's go ahead and see what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? So, like always, we're gonna start the left-hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Vigilance Wing. It's an exotic pulse rifle. Then we have the Lucky Pants for the Hunter, the Peacekeepers for the Titan, as well as the Nezarek Sin for the Warlock. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. To have the perk on this is Harsh Truths, which gives you a five round burst and heals on ally deaths. Then we also have Corkscrew Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Last Stand, and Composite Stock. Coming down here, we have a nice Catalyst. And it actually has several different ornaments. The ornaments do not come with this weapon. And this is what the Book of the Dead looks like. This is Heaven's Vigil. And last but not least, Vigil for Saint 14. So if you guys do not have this, go ahead and get it. It's definitely a good uh, exotic in PVE as well as PVP. And I'm probably gonna rate this a tier two in both. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Lucky Pants. The treasure perk on this is a legally modded, modded holster, which precision hits load a round in, uh, two <laughs> stowed hand cannons. God. And this one has a uh, void armor tier on it. Now, this is an okay exotic and specific to hand cannons. If you're not a hand cannon person, then I probably wouldn't even worry about this. Um, but even if you are a hand cannon person, I still feel like there are better exotics out there. For example, Stompies, perfect example. Way better than Lucky Pants any single day. So, uh, if you guys do know my rule of thumb, I like to have a exotic that has at least plus 13. And this doesn't have that on any stats. So, I probably would go ahead and skip this. Uh, then we have the Peacekeepers. Try to perk on this is Mecha Holster, which reloads stowed SMGs and allows instant ready. This is amazing in PvP and PvE, actually, um, especially since the Recluse is everywhere. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the stats I like on it. But this does have a uh, Solar Armor tier, and it's not that bad, but... <sighs> I don't know. I feel like there are better exotics to use uh, other than peacekeepers as well. But if you guys want to get it and you guys have an SMG, either Recluse, any OD, or whatever SMG you like using, Callus Mini Tool, uh, Multi Mini Tool, um, then A, hey, go ahead and grab this. Next, we have the Nezarek Sin for the Warlock. In terms of perk on this is Abysmal Extractors, which gives you void kill, oh, I'm sorry, which void kills increase ability regen. And this is actually a void tier piece of armor, which is pretty good. Uh, once again, unfortunately, the mod, I'm not the mods, the character stats on this is okay, but I probably would skip on this just because of the character stats alone. Like you really, really, really want to go for something that's plus 13 and specific stats. Um, and this doesn't really add up to that. And even though the total is uh, 46, you want something higher. I look at the total of my Iron Will Mask. That is on a 75. And yes, it is on a 75 because I actually have a um, mobility mod in it, which gives me a plus 10. But even at a 65, it's still better um, or a better um, piece of armor to use than an exotic that has a low number as like a 46. So you probably, you know, want something better with higher stats. 
So the Nezirixen is still a good exotic and I probably would give it a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. But just because of them stats, that's really, really holding it back. Then we got your consumables, which is Five of Swords, which gives you a Nightfall Challenge card, and then your invitations that I will never ever do again. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. Let's go ahead and see what we get this week for the Faded Engram. Orpheus Rigs. Alright. And it went to my Postmaster. So, let's go ahead and pop that out, as well as bring my Orpheus Rigs to my character and see which one is better. Thank you, Destiny Item Manager, aka Dim. You help me out so much. So, as you guys can see, the Orpheus Rig is an exotic that specifically is good for your intellect. So you definitely want a Orpheus Rig with high intellect. Unfortunately, this one isn't really that high. This one, mine, uh, the one that I had prior to the one I just got out of the Faded Engram, has a, only a plus 12 on it. Um, but the new one has a plus 8, which isn't really that good, but it does give you a plus 13 in mobility. Um, so it's kind of a good trade-off plus the total number on this Orpheus rig is a 57 compared to my 48 so that's in in turn a still a better exotic just because the total is a lot higher on top of that I am able to put in mods um, so yeah I can actually make that uh, plus 8 into a plus 18, which would in doubt make this a better exotic than the one I currently have. So, I'm actually going to head lock that, unlock this one, and grab the wonderful stuff that comes out of it. So yeah, that, this, is, this is definitely a better exotic that I did get um, than the one I actually had. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.